When you're planning to visit Las Vegas, I always say that you have to come to Fremont Street at least once during your trip. Not only is the energy up here quite wild and at any time of the day, but it's also not to be cheaper than the Las Vegas trip when it comes to food, drinks, and even gambling. So in true Vegas form, the Fremont Casino has decided to expand by adding a brand new food hall with some great restaurant options. And today just happens to be their grand opening. So it is a little hidden, so I'm going to show you guys where it is, but we basically have to go to the very back of Fremont Casino. Right. Yay, we're officially open. They do have six brand new quick service restaurants here. Just like they mentioned, you don't have to sacrifice quality just to get fast service food. This first one right here is going to be Craft Kitchen, Cafe, and Bakery, and this is going to be mainly breakfast food. I am going to show you guys some full-size portions, but look at this beautiful spread that they have for us. Like, this is amazing. This one called my name first is going to be their truffle smashed potatoes. So it's literally a potato that got smashed. Oh, that is so good, guys. You have to get this. So we're gonna go from savory to sweet, and I wanna show you guys this churro waffle. Look at this, guys. This looks soaked. I think I need a knife for this one. Mm, this smells so sweet. I think that's like one of the best waffles I've had. This churro waffle is just drenched in this tres leches caramel sauce, and it has so much cinnamon sugar on top. It kind of gives it a little bit of a crunch when you eat it. The owners were gracious enough to make me the creme brulee French toast. I already got the maple syrup pour on here. It's like a sticky sandwich. Oh my God, that is so good, wow. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I thought this middle part was gonna be egg, but it's actually a vanilla bean custard. You guys wanna try it? All right, open up. So this one right here is going to be their Cuban panini. It's going to have roasted pork, smoked ham, Swiss house-made pickles, Dijonais, and it comes with a side of house salad. And even their bread is made in-house. Okay, so I had to get them to cut it up for me because this is a pretty big sandwich. Oh my God, it's so saucy. Come on, you guys can tell me you don't want to take a bite out of that right now. Oh, okay. I'm trying not to get full because we have so much more food I got to show you guys. My favorite Mexican breakfast item, some chilaquiles right here. They made them so beautifully, guys. I am actually really impressed. Mm -mm. Oh my God. That's an incredible sauce right here. And I just love how much of that limon crema that they use. And these ain't no store-bought chips either. And I love the portion of this. Like, honestly, I feel like me and like somebody else could share this. Oh, those are spicy. Next, we got chicken fingers. For Huey Magoo's, this is gonna be their first West Coast location. They are primarily based over on the East Coast. For these chicken tenders, they specifically will be using the tenderloin of the chicken, which they consider to be the filet mignon of chicken. You do have the option of getting these tenders tossed in sauce, or you can have them dry with the sauces on the side. But for today's purpose, I did get a few of them tossed in the sauce just for you guys. So we have three different ones right here. So we do have the original chicken tender, then we have a sweet heat and a garlic and Parmesan. And everything that they use is fresh, nothing is frozen. This is actually some really juicy chicken. Now, one of the secrets is that they are very lightly breaded, so you don't have like this huge coating as you're biting it. Ooh, but I already really like the original. My hands are gonna get a little messy here. This is gonna be the sweet heat. Oh, okay, this is yummy. It's not too spicy, just a little bit though. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of like an Asian style sauce. Right here, we have the garlic Parmesan. Look, they actually have real Parmesan on there. It's not just powder. Mmm. <laughs> Man, I think I'm just most impressed how they actually use the real Parmesan. And then something I'm pretty impressed with is how big their toast is. And this one as well is just smothered with butter. Oh my God, so much butter, guys. And then if you also want it size, they do have regular crinkle fries and then they also have chips as well. So the concept out of San Francisco started in a food truck and expanded it. I think they're up to eight or 10 food trucks. They've expanded to Sacramento where we opened a concept for them there. And then this concept here is the first one in Vegas. Delicious. Okay, we have to do the porchetta sandwich first because it's just dripping in its juices. So this is gonna have the Carabuda porchetta. It's gonna also have onion marmalade, arugula, rosemary sea salt, and a fresh bottle roll. Oh wow, holy cow. I mean, holy pig. This is like pork heaven right now, guys. You got two types of pork in here. You got the soft porchetta here, and then you got the crispy porchetta as well. Now porchetta, porchetta. 
Now that whole sandwich right here was only $12.95. I mean, you have so much food. And then for this one, I'm more impressed too with the price because it's gonna be a half roasted chicken. All this is $11.95. If you wanted the whole roasted chicken, it's only $21.95. Like, I actually think that's a really good deal. Then we got some secret seasoning right here on the half chicken. Gotta have the win here. Mmm. You sure you don't wanna tell me the secret? <laughs> The chef's not budging here. It's such a good season right here, and I just love how much you get. I mean, you could easily split this with another person. Imagine a whole chicken. I mean, that's like a meal for a family right there. And if you guys saw it, so basically the juices from the pork and the chicken drips down and they roast the potatoes. Anything from Rolly Roti is amazing. So I wanted to get something that wasn't a full play. I also wanted to do one of the samples here, of course. The chef told me I have to get the tomo fries. I need to get a little bit of everything. Good bite. Mmm, wow. That's some good late night food right there. <laughs> now imagine getting a whole mountain of these. Everything tastes amazing with fries, right? Okay guys, so we have Brad here. He's gonna be the executive chef here of Tomo. But yeah, I just had to try this. I mean, this is something that I personally have never had, so let us know what this is. So that's a fried salmon. It's a, it's a Hawaii classic food from, you know, we grew up on this stuff. So it's fried noodles, garlic, Portuguese sausage, uh, fish cake, our homemade char soup pork, spam, and our secret sauce with some egg and stir fried up. Try it out. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not a big noodle aficionado, but no, these are actually really delicious. So personally, when I get ramen, I always order tonkatsu. But what specifically is going to be in this one? So you have chasu rolled pork belly sliced and seared, shoyu cured egg, enoki mushrooms, green onions, pork broth, and the noodles on the bottom. I just love this food hall because basically you can get pretty much anything that yeah. you're craving. If your whole family's craving something different, I mean, they're most likely going to be able to choose something from here. Can I do the single steak burger with cheese? No onions? And can I get a Nutella shake? All right, guys, we're almost done. This is the last meal of the day. Wow. Good. Okay. Thank you. I guess I'm living with goodies, guys, from Crab Kitchen. Thank you. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, wow. It's steak and shake, so obviously we had to get a shake. We need their Nutella shake. Oh my God, it's so thick. Oh my Lord. That's so much Nutella. Wow, look at that. Okay, guys. We can do this. So we got the single cheeseburger here. Look at those pickles. That's a lot of pickles that they put in this, but I love pickles, so this is a good thing for me. Gotta put some ketchup in there. You know what? I don't think I've ever had steak and shake, actually. Let's see. Mm, that's very flavorful. And even though the meat gets like pressed down, you can tell it's still really juicy. And we got some thin fries. These are good, actually. All right, guys, success. We ate at all five different places. And on some of these, I had more than one item. So yeah, I'm gonna roll out of here. Overall though, I freaking love this food hall right here, guys. I mean, you have so much to choose from, anything from breakfast items. You can choose from chicken tenders. You also have rotisserie chicken, Asian Hawaiian food, and then of course, classic burgers. They also have a Dunkin' Donuts right here, guys, but you guys know what Dunkin' Donuts tastes like. All right, guys, I'm gonna roll out of here. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment below what's something that you guys would try here. All right, I'm gonna go find a wheelchair. Is he bothering you? No, we're okay, thank you. We're just filming right now. You give me a call, I got your back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, come back before they see you. Once during your stay. Oh, it's so loud, okay. <laughs> the planning tip is a lot big. Oh my lord, that's so loud. Not, uh, shut up. But it's also nice to be cheap. Uh, what was it? By adding a brand new food hall. Beautiful. Decided to expand by adding a brand new food hall. So it is a little bit hidden, so we kind of have to go. All right. Actually, let me do it again. So this one right here is going to be their Cuban panini. It's going to have, what was it? This on you really quick, if it's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not going to be in the video, though, right? No, just your hands. Okay, thank God. Okay, but just your voice. <laughs> So that's going to be their specialty, and they took all the time that they had to perfect that one shit. For the chicken tenders, you do have the option of either getting them dry with the sauce inside, or you can get it uh, shit. One of their secrets is that they... Uh, and then as for the sides here, they do also offer... <laughs> that's right, they run this place. <laughs> Alright, so I ended up getting... No, not that one, wrong one. What are we doing? 
This one? Okay. <laughs> Everything tastes amazing with fries, right? Okay. <laughs> Overall though, I freaking love this food hall right here, guys. I mean, you have so much to choose from. Anything from breakfast items, you have, what is it? And they also, but best part of all, ugh, is it? Oh, I'm gonna roll out of here because I'm so full. Please, please give this video a like because you know, I ate a lot of food. <laughs> Shit, let me say that again. I asked for no onions.